Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bailey, you're welcome. So I have not done a lip swatch video in so, so, so long. And that's what we're gonna be doing today. Also, I flipped around so I'm not against the wall. So you have this in the background. And my tripod is like so high, like <laughs> this is like straight on. It's like so high, I feel like, I don't know. We're, go we're gonna fix this situation. I think I need to, anyway, this is my first time, okay? I just hope that my lash band is completely black because you're gonna be looking down at me, you know what I'm saying? So I got a little package from NYX in the mail and I actually just used a lingerie like three days ago and I had this beautiful look and I just felt very fall and then I got something special in the mail. So these are reflective of the lip lingerie and they're in all of the same shades. Oh my gosh, embellishment, yes. So the main difference is going to be that this it has a pencil applicator and then the old lip lingeries were a liquid lipstick with a doe foot applicator. So what is this here? This is a gorgeous nude matte lippy with the power to plump. Okay, so it's plumping good. I could use that. Featuring a precision retractable bullet and formulated with NYX um, Gentle Plumping Complex. Okay, makes it easy to line, fill, and plump your pout like a pro. Unlike some matte lipsticks, this hot little number glides on creamy and never, what is in my hair? I can see it in my peripherals. Never glides on creamy, wait. <laughs> this hot little number glides on creamy and never feels dry. Okay, so it's essentially the lingerie, but in a crayon, and it's going to plump my lips. Okay, so I have all 12 shades here, and you know that all 12 are going to be going on to my lips. Oh god, I'm so excited to put the embellishment on. Embellishment is a shade that I literally wore for like an entire year straight. I like didn't wear anything else besides embellishment. Oh my god, I'm so glad. So product wise, you get 0 0.05 ounces and then in the originals, you get 0.13 fluid ounces. So you do get much more product in the original lip lingerie. But I guess with this, you actually, it's a plumping lipstick, so. Okay, <laughs> I don't know if this matters to you guys, but when I worked for NYX, this did matter. So I have Silk Indulgent by the original Lip Lingerie, and this was shade number 22. This was part of the shade extension after the, they originally launched in 26, 25, 2016, January 2016. And so this one in the Lip Lingerie push-up, this is also number 22 Silk Indulgent. So they have matched up the numbers with the names. So that's kind of helpful. But then I'm looking down here as well. So we have push up 06. So I don't know if there's more shades than just the 12 that I have because some of these, like for example, Exotic was from, is that from the, no, Seduction was from the shade extension. Exotic was number 12 in the originals. Embellishment was from originals. French Made was an extension. Okay. Okay, let's just put them on my lips. This doesn't matter. Popping the cap off, we do have a beautiful crayon and it is retractable, love that. I'm starting off with the shade Embellishment. This was my favorite lip lingerie. Oh my God, this is like taking me back. I'm so excited. Okay, well, let's go. Okay, ooh, it's so nice and minty. I can tell that it's like starting to plump. Oh my God, I love this color. This is just like, if a shade was made for me, I feel like this is just like the perfect shade. I just love it so much. And it's not an intense tingly, but I feel like it is a little bit minty right now. So for me, one of the most glorious things about the lip lingeries is that once you put them on, they were completely matte. They never really dried out my lips. They were just such like an interesting formula. I'm pretty sure they had vitamin E in them, if I'm not mistaken. I'm, like tried to like tinker back into like my brain. I'm pretty sure they did. This is matte too. It's like, it tr it's still a little wet, so it's gonna transfer. I can maybe feel that but it is matte. It feels just like a plush cushion on my lips. Oh, I love embellishment. Can I just stop here? I don't want to continue. I just want to wear this for the rest of the day. Next up, we have a little bit more of a nude and this guy is Lace Detail. So this one for me almost reads a little bit too yellow tone for me. Like I find that it just makes I don't know, like I look into viewfinder and I feel like I like it on me, but then I look in real life and I'm just not sure about it. I feel like it just pulls out all the redness from around me. I also could just be a crazy person, which is also very likely. Any hoozy, that's lace detail. 
I do like it. Yes, honey. Ooh, yes. Next here we have push up. And if I recall, push up, I really liked push up. I think. Oh yeah, I think I did. <laughs> These glide on so easily. My only one concern is as soon as you apply it once, the tip is kind of gone. So I'm not sure how user friendly it would be after, but like the first go is just like so smooth, so plush. I actually quite like that. I love this color because it almost has like a terracotta tone to it and I'm just like living for that. Oh, hey. Oh, this? Oh, this lipstick? Don't worry about it. Next up, we have Bedtime Flirt. Mm, this color is pretty. I do like this shade. I'm gonna say the more I'm using these, the more I'm finding that, I don't know, but I just, I don't know. What do you guys think of this color? I find that it's very similar to the one before, no? Next up, we have Corset, which is like nude. So for Corset, I want to like this, but I also feel like it kind of makes me look dead, but I'm also like kind of into that, like whole corpsey thing going on right now. like. We just got off of Halloween and I'm not minding that, but I feel like I would definitely need a lip liner with this just to like darken my lip line just a bit. Cause I kind of find that whenever I do wear a nude, if it's like too nude like this, I feel like my lips just disappear. But anyway, that's just my little tidbit. There's corset. Ooh, next up is Teddy. And Teddy was always one of my favorite of the lip lingeries. It was just like when the whole like brown, like 90s moment was happening. I feel like Teddy was just like it. Anyway, let's get this on. Oh my God, I love Teddy. It's so dark and like, like, a borderline like cool tone into like almost a berry i just find that it oh my god like for the holidays queen this is it right here i freaking love teddy oh oh in the mint oh honey i'm just having a moment here with my new lipsticks my god yes okay i don't want to take this one off <laughs> my exotic is one of my absolute favorite shades as well it's kind of like almost like a muted like burnt candy apple is how I want to describe it. Ugh. This is like going down memory lane. Okay, let's put it on. I would love this one. I mean, come on. I feel like my description was pretty spot on. It's it's more cranberry than I thought it was actually. So maybe I'll change out saying it's burnt muted candy apple into burnt muted cranberry <laughs> yeah. oh i love this shade oh my god it's so nice oh love next up we have this shade called seduction Ooh, this one's kind of similar to exotic but just a little bit more like muted i love this i feel like I also like these because you can kind of play around with the pigmentation of it too. Like you can put a little bit on and kind of buff it out as opposed to like the originals. This is a, this is a slip tease. The originals <laughs> where it's like once you put it on with a doe foot applicator, like it's on. Like there's no messing around with like the pigmentation of that. It's like full opacity. I feel like you can play around with this a little bit more. So. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to pretend dusk till dawn i don't think is my favorite color but who knows it may surprise me because it's in a different formula i don't know but i okay let's just put it on <laughs> okay <laughs> oh. <laughs> this isn't my favorite in the world this is just not my jam maybe if you had a cute tan 
maybe if you weren't my color maybe if you matched up the gloss i don't know honey dust till dawn is not my ish sure it looks great on someone but i feel like i look i don't know i don't know how i feel like i look just not good okay oh uh, no <laughs> no ma'am <laughs> You have one of my favorites. This is French made. Oh, let's get it on. I can't wait. I love French made. French made is like a classic. It's just like, oh, mm, okay. The reason I love French made is it's because it's like everything that embellishment isn't. Like if embellishment is a little bit too intense and purple for you, French made is just like a little backup, just like a bench warmer, just waiting, sitting just waiting for you okay it's a little bit darker than embellishment it has a little bit less purple in it than embellishment and i just oh me and my cool tones i'm just living for this i could wear this all day long hello up next we have silk indulgent i'm just gonna let how this looks on me speak for itself so let's just put this on Wow. Don't get me wrong. Everyone's different. This literally looks like chalk on me. This is not it for me. This is not cute. This is maybe if you had a tan, everyone's different. Everyone's skin tone's different. Everyone's coloring is different. This is just not for me. Maybe if I like had a tan and I was like in Mexico or something, just not right now. You know what I'm saying? Oh, they gone dummy dirty with this lipstick. Mm -mm, no way. No way, no how. Uh uh. No, no. No, ma'am. And last but not least, we have After Hours, which is a dark brown. Let's put it on. I'm going to try and make it precise as possible. All right, there's After Hours. It's a lot darker than I remember. This is like a dark color. I feel like it was kind of tricky to get a really precise lip line as you can see. I think I would have to use a lip brush with this if I wanted to get it like absolutely precise, especially now that the little bullet is not as sharp as it used to be. Is there a sharpener at the end? Oh my God, there's a sharpener at the end. Oh my God, there's a sharpener at the end. Oh my God. Okay, so we're just, oh my God, there is a sharpener. They think of everything. Oh my God. Wow. Okay. My life has just been, there's a sharpener at the end. I have to remember to put this on. See, okay. One thing about the sharpeners is, is you get product here. I would put that product in the middle of my lips after I've lined with that. Anyway, there are all 12 shades. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Do you like the idea? I really do like the idea and especially because it has the lip plumper in it. I feel like they could have just put that in this and i would love it as well but um i think i really like it in a stick and i find that it's a lot more user friendly just because not every single person has the time to like get those perfect lines on their lips yada 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 anyway those are all my swatches for the new lip lingerie push-up is what it's called lip lingerie no yeah nyx lip lingerie push-up and i can feel it plumping my lips like it's actually very nice it's not intense it doesn't feel too involved I almost wish that it was a little bit more just because I kind of like that, you know, that little like tingle, you know, I don't mind that. But some people I feel like could be a little weary. I like that it's minty and doing something on my lips. It's nice. It's matte. It's plush. It doesn't feel dry. My lips right now feel dry because I just tried 12 lipsticks on, but this doesn't feel drying. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. This is the torture I endured for you. This right here is the torture.